Hi, welcome back, everybody. Well, talk about Thanksgiving. Have you ever thought about a Thanksgiving burger? Jim uh, Otten from Otten's Eatery is here, and this is something that you've been running as a special the last few weeks, and it's yes. going crazy, right? Yes, it's done very well. Tell us about it. What do you call it? Well, basically, it's called Grumpy's Thanksgiving. Um, I've got the nickname Grumpy for whatever reason. And, uh, You're not it, grumpy. No, <laughs> not as a rule, no. <laughs> but everything uh, revolves around grumpy. So this is Grumpy's Thanksgiving. It's a turkey burger that's got some red onion, a uh, little bit of Worcestershire sauce, uh, some sage, and uh, just some other spices in it. We've got the re you, uh, we've got the recipe online. So that's what we're starting. We yes. started to fry the burger, yes. and that's the key. With, when you're doing ground turkey instead of ground, you know, beef. You really do need to add a little bit more flavor to it, a little bit of moisture. So Worcestershire, yes. a little red onion in there to kind of give it yes. some moisture. Uh, and we always add egg and oatmeal. Egg and oatmeal. Okay. Egg so. makes everything stick together, you know, and, and oatmeal uh, just adds a little bit of volume to a it. A nice binder. Yes. So the full recipe for the actual turkey burger you can get on the website. But now we're going to, uh, it's not just the burger that makes this burger so special. There's a lot of stuff going on. So we're Correct. actually going to make a stuffing. Yes. Uh, actually, the stuffing uh, recipe is, is fairly simple. It's your uh, typical, whatever your favorite uh, stuffing that comes in a bag yep. at, at your local grocery store. Put that in a bowl. We add uh, about two cups of chicken broth. We use chicken broth. You can use water. And I'm going to start or, sauteing some vegetable yes, here. So if you have leftover Thanksgiving, you know, stuffing, this is a great way to use it. So in goes where, you know, my stuffing always starts with onion and celery. Yes. A little bit of butter, olive oil, or even just cooking spray into our, our pan here. We'll get that going. But again, this is a step you, you make it homemade, you know, for this burger at the Correct. restaurant. But again, if you've got leftover stuffing, think about putting it on the oh, this turkey is a, burger. Oh, this is a great way to put it to use. Actually, uh... With the moisture, you want your, I prefer the stuffing just a little bit more sticky, uh -huh. a little bit, you uh -huh. know, kind of, not a paste, but uh, a little bit more moist. And then we add the celery and onion. Okay. Then we also go in and we add, uh, we like a lot of sausage oh, yeah. at the restaurant. Yeah. So we add two pounds of your favorite uh, sausage. Cooked in, it's been cooked and crumbled. It's big and cooked and crumbled okay. up. And then you add that in. And then... Uh, I'm going to add a little oil here to get this for going. For the, uh, the celery and onion. Now, in this pot over here, we have a new twist on a cranberry sauce. But this is fun. Um, and this is so basically this turkey burger is not go only going to have stuffing. It's going to have cranberry sauce on it. So we started yes. out in here. We did basically we did uh, fresh cranberries. Yes, we've got four cups of fresh cranberries. We have a cup of orange juice and a cup of sugar. Okay. And one jalapeno that's been diced and seeded. Now, it. that's kind of a fun different twist. Uh, so it's going to have just a, a little bit of heat to it, huh? Yeah, well, it, actually, it's not so, it's not really spicy. You just get the aftertaste of the jalapeno. Ooh. So, uh, and then what you do is you wait for the, uh, uh, the cranberries to pop, and it will thicken. And you can see they're already starting to pop. Yep. And then what you do is you take it off the heat, and you finish it with the juice of a lime and two tablespoons of tequila. Ooh, wow. So, yeah. It, that it, sounds good. That's actually my favorite part of the burger. Yum. Okay, we're going to season up our stuffing. So we've yes. got chicken stock, stuffing mix, lots of sausage. Lots of sausage, celery and onion. Okay. Uh, sage and rosemary mm. to taste. Uh, some people really like a lot of uh, sage in their stuffing. Uh, so, you know, every everything here is to taste. This is just the way we do it uh, because we have to be able to do it over and over again. Right. Oh, wow. Day, that so. smells so good. Otten's Eatery, by the way, is a family-run uh, great restaurant in Green Bay. Uh, where are you guys located, Jim? We're actually located, uh, if you're familiar with Green Bay at all, we're located over on West Mason Street behind where the old Baskin Robbins used yep. to be. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're back in that little strip mall there. Family uh, affair, so you got your daughter in there cooking with you. My daughter is a pastry chef. My son is a pastry chef. My wife comes in and helps. I know you make a lot of your own uh, rolls and breads. Yes, ma'am. Lunch and dinner? or what are Lunch you? and dinner. Okay. And all sorts of really unique menu items. It's not your typical place, and you won't leave there hungry, as you're going to see. The portions are huge. huge. <laughs> Soups and sandwiches like you wouldn't believe. So 
I hear that people go there once and they just they become regulars real quick. Yes, and and we like that. We like uh, we kind of want, uh, for lack of a better way to put it, we like the cheers feel. Yeah. We like people to holler at us when they come through the door. I so like that. It's a I lot like of fun. That. Besides this turkey burger, you also have some other amazing burgers on the menu. Tell us about a couple of those. Uh, we have a grumpy burger. Okay, which is basically a half pound burger that's been stuffed with cream cheese, cheddar cheese, green onion, bacon, and a little bit of barbecue sauce. <laughs> and then we slather the grumpy sauce on the, on the bun and have lettuce and tomato and onion Yum. and uh, put that on there. And then we have uh, Grumpy's Brother Jeff, which is a mushroom Swiss burger. So it's a half pound burger, again, that's been stuffed with uh, creamy Swiss cheese and baby Swiss. Mm. We, then we top that with uh, a lot of mushrooms, and then we uh, melt Swiss cheese on the bun. Oh, my goodness gracious. So those oh. are just a couple of the burgers. They do all sorts of different sandwiches and homemade soups. And, again, you make the buns, right? Yes, ma'am. The buns are made in-house from scratch. I mean, how many restaurants do that? Not many. So our cranberry sauce, the cranberries are starting to pop yes. a little bit. Starting to thicken up. So we're going to add now fresh lime juice. Yes. This is not going to be your mom's cranberry sauce. No. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this is going to be a little bit of fun. Did we add the tequila? tequila no, we have not. Yet? So we can go ahead and put that in. Is that around here? Yes. It's right or did Ann have it's that? Hiding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shots. In goes our tequila. <laughs> After that Packers game, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. At least Great. it was a tie, right? Yes. Well, oh, that cranberry sauce smells good. Okay, I think we're ready to kind of take this to the plate. So in goes our onions and our celery. Yes. It goes in. Uh huh. Our turkey burger is done. We want to make yes. sure that it's you know turkey, not ground beef. So we want to make sure it's cooked completely so what we'll through. Do, yep. We'll set this back here. Okay. So no ketchup for this burger. I think no, that that would not be a good thing. We're going to let all the ingredients speak for itself. So here's the stuffing already made. Already made. Let me so you bake it up so it gets a little bit crispy. Yes, you bake it at okay. uh, about 350 degrees for okay. a half hour. And uh, I lost my spoon. That's okay. Spoon. You got lots of spoons. You got it? Okay. Okay. So then what you do to assemble the burger uh -huh. you just put the burger on the bun. Okay. The homemade bun. Okay. Hot stuffing. It's st still a little hot. A big, big pile of homemade, Jim's homemade stuffing. A big pile of stuffing. And then cranberry sauce. And then top it with some cranberry sauce. It just kind of spills all over there. Yes. This is almost like a knife and fork burger, it looks like. And they serve this with fries. Oh my goodness gracious, go. Jim. Otten's Eatery Great. in Green Bay. Jim's going to stick around and do pumpkin pie cupcakes. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back.